So yes, it is dark here, but can't help it. So attach the uh, stretching jig or attach, put it on the miler. I'm gonna add some double-sided cheap-ass carpet tape. It held the miler uh, like moments ago, but not strong enough to uh, to stretch it. So I have to add some tape in this case. It sticks better but will creep, so its only function is to hold it while I uh, glue it. Okay, now first these sides. No! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ah, this is terrible. Really? Fuck. Well, I didn't apply any tension yet, but there's a huge rip here. Which is gonna be fun. I am going to fix it because that was a lot of work. That went to shit in like seconds. I do the typical covering of the corners because that's the place where it will rip if tension is too high. I really have no clue how high of a tension I need, but this is a bit too low, I think. Just gonna tension it slightly, see if it breaks, and then we're gonna add glue, and then I'm gonna go for the real tension because the longer you have it on tension, the more chances of screwing it up. So this is enough for gluing. Um, yeah, glue. Thirty enough from three M. Uh, third, yeah, thirty enough from three M. That's correct. No mistake made there. So uh, yeah, here I can see where the spacer is gonna sit. On this side I have to guesstimate it, but that doesn't really matter, I just put glue everywhere, not on the foil, aluminium foil, but on all the other stuff. <coughs> I'll put some glue on the panel we made yesterday, but I don't have to film that, I think. Or at least I don't want to remove this thing, so I'll move to the panel and glue it up instead of uh, getting the panel over here, because there's no room to lay it down. 
So we'll be right back and in the meanwhile this will dry. So glue is dried, glue on the panel has dried. One thing to note is that I used um, cyan acrylate yesterday, sort of a sealer of the MDF. All fun, but uh, <laughs> it creates such a high surface tension on, on the material that the, the glue will bead up. Bead? Yeah, well, you know what I mean, like drops. So you have to like sand it, but then the question is what if it does anything besides being annoying, so I don't know. Uh, it might not be a super super good idea. Uh, it is a good idea, I think, if I would make electrostatic loudspeakers out of MDF, then it would be a very nice sealant. But maybe not for this. Uh, anyhow, I sanded it and uh, the glue went on fine, but... Yeah. Now, question is, what tension do I need? Because that's, really, that's just a gamble. I'm gonna increase the tension a little bit. I think getting it lower is easier <laughs> in my case later on just uh, removing a few screws Can I remember this resonance? I don't think so, but... <sighs> I don't have the jig where I sweep it and such anymore. Now, the, the thing is, shall I put the panel on here or on the other way around? Who knows? I think I'll drop on the panel and then flip it over. possible so that's the stuff I want to line up with and it should kind of align now the problem is that uh, if the stretching jig was bigger, I could like use my roller on the other side. Now there are only portions where I can use the roller. So this jig is actually too small as I mentioned in the beginning. I'll just stand on it for a while. Okay. Use my insane weight of 70 kilos, <laughs> maybe less. I'm a lightweight. Now I can use my roller here. I hope that's, ooh, it's quite high. I hope that's enough tension and I'm able to cut it free. So I'm gonna flip it around once more. Let some of the air out and try to cut it free. Soldering iron would be nice now, but...
Gaster Resonance. 60. 55. I don't know. <laughs> I guess 60, but we'll see. Whew. So that was one. Three millimeter X Max, tiny panel. But if you know that my other normal rubber magnet panels uh, have an X Max of one millimeter, slightly more, this has uh, at least two times as much, maybe three. So you could say it's much larger. Then again, I'm no fan of like doing a one on one calculation to X Max and surface area mix them up and say this does as much as three times this panel with this X max of one millimeter. That might be true, but I think that's not true. So although yes, it has a slider higher X max, it does more than a rubber panel of this size. It's not doing three times as much or capable of three times as much. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. How it does work, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a calculation for it. Okay, cool, that's one. So there's your panel. Um, I'm gonna look for a stapler. Oh no. This is what happens when you like, fuck, loan people stuff. And then you need it, then it's gone, of course. Ah, 4.6, huh? what? Ah, uh, yeah, so... I designed this coil, so it's even a little bit higher than I expected. One side is 4.6, so in total it will be 9.2 ohms. I wished for 8 ohms to be fair, but huh? that, that's not the case. Uh, and 8 ohms is far more than I usually uh, want. I want 4, four ohms. But uh, the idea was to use two of them in parallel. So, well, and in this case it still would be, well, 4.6. Ooh, I think this... This tension might be slightly higher than the other one. Damn it, my perfect hearing is not so perfect by the looks of it. They're reasonably close, I think. So this is gonna sound terrible, I think, without any dampening. But Anyhow, we're gonna make this uh, weird connection thingy. So fire up the sol sol soldering iron. I have some aluminium solder for the problematic joint I think although the flux the separate flux makes a nicer solder joint so I might use that not sure how that will work I need some some of this stuff I think Maybe a Q-tip or two. And I need some wire. So here's a bunch of wire that I can use. Now we're gonna heat this part. And burn through the mylar. Now I'm gonna use this stuff to remove the hopefully acrylic adhesive and whatnots. Never tried it.
Don't know if that works, but we'll see. Now we use our flux. And we use some flux here. And we must burn through here as well. It looks clean, but... Squeaky. Then we need some flux there as well. I see some bubbling, so apparently the cleaning did kind of do something. Hmm, that worked much better, I think. I don't know how, how nice it is to inhale this smoke. I think it's evaporating acid. So now, if all went well, we should measure a 9.2 uh, ohms, sort of. At least in that region. So from here, to there 9.2 9.1 so this connection is perfect well that was easy uh, wire and a wire let's thin them up a bit before my poor soldering iron Going to shit from the flux because it's acid. What is plus? I don't know. I gamble it will be this one. Minus will be, in my case, this one. Ow. No. Oh. And I'm gonna like. Hmm. I'm gonna turn this one around like this. So I, I can put some tape here without having tape on the aluminium traces. That's one panel done. Well done. I can hear it honk, so it needs dumpling quite a bit now. 